Hello good day viewers. In today's tutorial I will show you how to form another quadratic equation from a given quadratic equation. So if you are new here consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. Uh, we are given that alpha and beta are the quadratic roots of this quadratic equation and we are asked to form another quadratic equation that has these two roots. This is the first root and this is the second root. The very first thing to do is to find the sum and the product of the initial quadratic equation, um, which is sum for alpha plus beta, and this is equal to negative b over a. And you know b is the coefficient of the middle term, which we have here as 5, so we have negative 5, divided by the leading coefficient, which we have here as 3. For the product, we have alpha times beta, this is equal to c over a. And c is the constant which we have here as negative 7. a is the leading coefficient which we have here as 3. So the sum and the product are this respectively. So we are going to keep them aside for subsequent use. For sum, we have negative 5 over 3. And for the product, we have negative 7 over 3. Now let us find the sum and the product of these roots. For sum, meaning we should add the two times together, we have alpha plus 1 over beta, then plus the other root, which is beta plus 1 over alpha. This is equal to um, alpha plus beta, we have alpha, we have beta, then plus this other, if you add them together, we are going to obtain alpha plus beta divided by alpha beta. And this is equal to the sum, we have it as negative 5 over 3. So we have negative 5 over 3 plus the sum again is our negative 5 over 3, but we have a division sign, um, but, but we can take multiplication and take the reciprocal of the other term because it is also a fraction. So instead of negative 7 over 3, we have negative 3 over 7. This is equal to negative 5 over 3 plus 3 will cancel 3. We have negative, negative, positive, 5 over 7. Um, the LCM is going to be 21. 3 can go into 21 7 times. And 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. Negative 35 plus. 7 can go here 3 times. And 3 times 5 is 15. And this is equal to, we have a negative 35 plus positive 15 and is equal to negative 20 divided by 21. And this is the sum of these two roots. So we say for sum is equal to negative 20 over 21. Then let us find the product. Then product, it means that we should multiply the two roots together, alpha plus 1 over beta, multiplied by beta plus 1 over alpha. Alpha times beta is equal to alpha beta, then plus alpha times 1 over alpha is the same thing as alpha over alpha, which is going to give us 1 then plus 1 over beta times beta is the same thing as beta divided by beta and it's also equal to 1 and the last terms 1 over beta times 1 over alpha it is the same thing as 1 over alpha beta this is equal to alpha times beta we have it as negative 7 over 3 negative 7 over 3 1 plus 1 is 2 so we have 2 we can rationalize it, and then plus 1 over alpha beta, 1 over negative 7 over 3 
it's like taking the reciprocal of negative 7 over 3, which is going to make it negative 3 over 7. Now the LCM is 21. 3 into 21 is 7 times. 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. 1 into 21 is 21. Then 21 times 2 is um, 42 minus 7 into 21 is 3. And 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. This is equal to negative 49 plus positive um, 42 is uh, negative 7. Then negative 7, negative 9 is negative 16. So we have negative 16 over 21. A negative 16 over 21 is going to be the product. So we have the product to be equal to negative 16 over 21. Now we are going to use these two terms to find the new equation. So the quadratic equation will be in the form of x squared minus sum of roots multiply by x then plus product of roots equals zero. x squared minus the sum of roots is negative 20 over 21. Negative 20 over 21, then multiply by x, then we add. The product of roots is negative 16. Negative 16 over 21, the whole of this equal to zero. This is equal to x squared, negative, negative is positive. 20 over 21 x, then negative, positive is negative. 16 over 21, and this is equal to zero. Uh, by multiplying each term by 21, we are going to clear the fraction. So we, we say this times 21 is 21x squared, plus 20 times 21 divided by 21 is 20x minus 16 times 21 divided by 21 is 16, the whole of this equal to zero. And hence, this is the new quadratic equation formed from this other quadratic equation, given that this and this are the quadratic roots of this formed quadratic equation. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.